Hello, good morning, children. Welcome back. I'm your host Abdul Rahman. Today we'll be focusing on your last activity for GCE O level examination paper. The last activity, as you already know, is to write an essay, right? So our focus today is to write an essay. In essay writing, you will be getting 15 marks. The marks are divided as follows: five marks will be given for your content, five for your language, two for organization, and three for mechanics of writing, such as putting the correct capital, simple, commas, those sort of things. Now, my dear children, why do you write an essay? I can give you two reasons why you should write an essay. The first one being to express the ideas of the writer, and the second one is to express information. Right. Now, before starting out to find how to write an essay, let us go through what are the types of essays. There are basically five types of essays that can come in your O level paper. The first one is a narrative type of an essay. Narrative is where you inform the facts and information, those sort of essays. Descriptive is when you are describing a scenario. Persuasive is to convince the reader. You are persuading somebody and convincing them. Comparative is you are comparing, which is good, which is not good, those sort of things. And expository is expression of how you do stuff. Look at these headings. Now, the first heading, my dear children, is the Pearl of Indian Ocean. In this one, you are writing facts. So, this is the first type of essay. The second one, a rainy day, we are describing a descriptive type of essay. Do not drink coffee, you are persuading someone persuasive type of an essay which is better exercise or diet we're comparing two things right comparative essays and finally have to make tea this is an expository type of an essay now when choosing a topic what is the problem that most of us face there are two things that you might have to consider are you going to choose the easiest one or the one with the most points? If you choose what is easy for you, it is very likely that you may run out of points. But if you choose the one with the most points, you might not know how to get it organized. Whether you choose an easy topic or the one with the most points, there are some tips that I can give you to make sure that you get the best out of both. First, jot down the points or make a mind map depending on how you do that. Then you arrange the points. If you have made a mind map, you arrange the map according to like numbering 1, 2, 3, 4, what comes first and second. Then divide them into three main parts. Remember, you have to divide them into the heading or the introduction part and the train which is uh, your middle part and finally your conclusion part and then you can write your essays finally after writing your essays remember to edit your grammar and spelling mistakes because if you check whatever the essay that you have written if you recheck again you might find at least one grammar or spelling mistake like is uh, those sort of even small mistakes as well and now, my dear children, what you should do when writing an essay? You should start the first paragraph, which is the first impression. So it's better if you can write a quote and it should be powerful as well. The middle is the, to tie the things. So it can be the train, your description and all those of stuff that, uh, that goes through will come to the second paragraph. And finally, the end should be powerful. You are going to give them some information 
or you are going to give them what you mean by this essay so it should be a powerful thing now what you should not do in doing this stuff you should not use passive when you are starting or you should not say i and my when writing essays i'm not i am talking about storytelling rather i'm telling about essays do not start as i and my and do not use passive words in the middle do not generalize what is generalization what is not to generalize let's start like that now my dear children when you are writing an essay don't say some people drink coffee some people drink tea no don't like that you can give the facts you can say around 15% of sri lankan population like to drink coffee now this is not generalization you can go through in that pattern as well in the end you can't copy the first one don't do that don't copy the first heading and put it at to the last now if you copy your first stanza for example if you are writing about reading a book you are writing a quote reading makes a man you are copying the same thing and including that into the last time as well now this is not a good practice don't do that now my dear children choose a topic out of this first one how we celebrated the children's day in our school if i was the president of sri lanka my favorite sports person is eating chocolates good for our health if those are difficult for you i'll give you some more books versus computers which is better and why how to eradicate dengue mosquitoes drug abuse let us protect our public property out of these eight headings you write any two headings any two it can be any of the two headings that you like write those essays and send it back to me i will correct and i will give you feedback personally thank you very much we'll meet you again in another essay